a new Japanese supermarket just opened in Brookline, which is one town over. It's called um, Maruichi. Um, it's on Harvard Street. And I thought I would just do a haul because I just got back from it. Um, I had actually been there like maybe less than a week ago where I bought more stuff. So this is sort of just like fill in. Um, so let me get started. I, I really like senbei. Um, senbei is the Japanese rice crackers. And so I got two kinds. Um, this kind looks a little bit more like gourmet or artisanal. Um, and I've never seen this before. Um, so I'm half Japanese and half Chinese and I'm married to a Korean. So I grew up going to Japanese markets and Chinese markets all my life. And then after I got married 25 years ago, um, I spent time in Korean markets. So, um, and I have to say, I've never seen this brand or this kind with this kind of um, twine before. And it has, it has a really dark soy sauce um, color. So it's, I think it's gonna be very savory. I'm excited about that. Um, and this one too, I haven't seen this shape. Um, or this brown. Um, I've heard a lot about this yuzu koshi, and it's like a condiment um, with yuzu. Yuzu is a kind of um, Japanese um, citrus. I would say, I would describe it a little bit like a Meyer lemon, but like still different, but like very fragrant, um, not super sour. Um, and so the red one is a spicy. I think it's a bit of a like a almost like a paste and this one isn't spicy um so i have never tried these so i'm kind of excited to use this to cook with i also got um my daughter found it it's um yuzu extract and normally i wouldn't buy like juices or extract because a lot of them have um um like preservatives that you can develop allergies to but this is just yuzu citrus juice and salt and so i would use this um, I think it says you can use it for mixing drinks. I would use it for marinades, um, for salad dressing, and I, I mean, I would try, I would try it too, um, in a like a cocktail. Um, another condiment I got was this um, sesame salt, um, and you can make your own. I think it's like black sesame seeds roasted with salt, and this is used a lot um, for. Um, kind of Japanese, kind of like a savory red beans and sticky rice dish, but I, I, I don't know, it's just, I actually haven't had it. So, um, I don't know, I'll just try it with rice or, um, I don't know, looks interesting. Um, so I don't know if any of you have watched that really popular series, fabulous show. I think uh, it's salt, acid, fat, and I forget what the last one is. Um, I I'm blanking on her name, but something like si Simon or si anyway, she's fabulous. Um, I have the cookbook. The cookbook's fabulous. But in her salt um, episode, uh, which you can watch on Netflix, uh, she goes to Japan and there's like a gourmet, um, like artisanal soy sauce manufacturer. And like my husband bought that soy sauce for us, and it came from Japan. It was you know, a bottle we kept in the refrigerator and it was absolutely like the best soy sauce that we've ever had. And I think it took us about a year or two and we used it up. So I still would like to get that soy sauce again, but I found this one um, at the supermarket. It isn't the same brand, but it's definitely like a fancier soy sauce than the Kikkoman low sodium that we usually use. And so I like to have a nice soy sauce sometimes just for finishing the way you'd use a like a nice olive oil um, my son really likes ramen and like this is actually his favorite which is the tonkatsu tonkatsu is like the pork um and this brand is Sapporo ichiban um and it was sold out for a while at our h mart the korean market because of um pandemic um panic buying so i'm glad it's back and i just got a small bag of this um i think it's a uh, katsu Shea Bonita Katsu Bochi Boshi. Um, so it's like a dried Bonito fish and it's like dried and it's like rock hard. And then you, if you have the actual fish, which is pretty expensive, then you have a special, almost like a plain shaver and you shave it into these flakes, which this is like the flakes. Um, and this is what you use if you want to make dashi from scratch. So you just boil water, 
drop this in, let it steep. You also add kombu, which is a kind of seaweed. Um, and so that would be the base for miso soup, but also for um, sauces. Um, but uh, so I just got a small one because I, when I need uh, dashi, um, it's actually not that hard to make your own. Drop it in and make it and strain it. Um, and so when you, if you make dashi, you, you put a handful of these flakes in and then sort of when it settles to the bottom, um, it's done. And you can actually do it in two batches. There's sort of like a kind of like first dashi. And then there's, a, there's like a second one you can use like almost the way you'd use a tea bag twice. So it isn't as concentrate, but like it's still, it's still good. Um, and then some people use the leftover um, shavings or the kombu and they use it to make like kind of a condiment that you can sprinkle on rice. Um, I, I don't do that though. So I'm trying to drink more green tea. And my favorite one is this um, Jamaica. Uh, I don't think I said it right. But so this is uh, with roasted brown rice um, and green tea. And I, I like the roasted brown rice. It gives it kind of a toasted flavor. It, it's, it's really nice. It's kind of mellow. Um, and so I'll, I'll make this. And sometimes the rice is popped, like it, it, like it looks. But sometimes it's literally popped, so it almost looks like mini popcorn. This one isn't. It's roasted, but it isn't like actually popped with like the white showing. Um, so I'll probably make, like, boil it in like a pot and then let it cool and then just drink it cold since it's summertime, it's like really hot. Um, but my boxing trainer told me that green tea is supposed to like be good to like, get rid of stomach fat, like something in it. It's almost like helps metabolize it faster. Um, and also it just has a lot of antioxidants. And so um, sometimes I just like avoid caffeine, which you can do if you just like, kind of like the Cassia Bush, if you just do it twice, because. Caffeine is water soluble. So if you wanted to use this and have it be caffeine free, um, steep it, like, you know, maybe for like a minute and then pour out the water and then make a new batch of boiled water and use the tea bag again or multiple tea bags and you'll have the same flavor. Not quite as strong, but strong enough, but then the caffeine will be gone. And then my kids really like rice balls. Sometimes I make them, but these are very handy because the seaweed is packaged um, in a separate layer so it stays um, nice and crisp. And I got pickled plum umeboshi, which is my kid's favorite. Um, but I also got this eel. Um, it's probably just like a broiled eel, barbecued eel, which I've never seen in a rice ball before, so I just wanted to try it. And then um, they, I actually grow Japanese cucumbers, but I don't have any um, yet because it's still kind of early. Um, and I can't buy the Japanese cucumber like seedlings where I live because they just don't sell them and so I'll try to seed it from seeds that I'll buy from a Japanese um there's like a seed store in California um and then like seed it like in March or April and then plant it and usually I can get three or four plants that way um and what I like about Japanese cucumber they're kind of like Persian cucumbers in that they're small and they're slim and the skin is very thin the seeds are very small, but um, they're unusually crispy. And so like they're my favorite cucumber. I just got that from my son. And then they have ginger, which looked really fresh, this ginger, um, like, like, like just harvested. And um, I use ginger, I'll, I'll make my, I used to buy like citron tea, which was like a, like a honey and, um, Citron is almost like the equivalent of um, the yuzu, but the Korean version of it. Um, but it's 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 sort of like a jam. But you like you 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 make a beverage out of it. You can have it hot or cold. But it's actually pretty sweet. So I um, I started making my own with just honey, a little bit of sugar because sometimes the honey's too strong, a lot of ginger, and then like lime juice or lemon juice, like whatever I had extra, especially if, if some of the lemons or limes are about to go bad. Um, and then just boil it all, and you can drink that hot or cold, iced. Um, and it's really good, especially if you have a cough, because it's the ginger is um, anti-inflammatory, so it, it and the honey also is very soothing. So anyway, so that's my haul from the supermarket, and um, 
let me know if you want to see more hauls from Asian markets because, um, yeah, I really like um, ethnic markets. And in my neighborhood, we have um, Middle Eastern pretty readily available. We have a bunch of um, Indian nearby in Waltham. Um, yeah, one town over too is, is a very large Armenian population. So we have some Middle Eastern um, Armenian markets there. And then Chinese and Korean and Japanese. We only have a few, a handful of Japanese in um, Massachusetts, in Boston, but um, they're like one of my favorites uh, to shop at. So thank you so much for watching and um, let me know um, what are your favorite things to buy at the Japanese market.